Hello again. Well, a while ago I got back from Power Rangers and right off the bat I'm going to let you know that I really enjoyed it. It made main sense and as a film that definitely is a darker rendition of the long running TV series, it's particularly drawn off in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV series from 1983 and 1985. It is definitely a worth the wait for all this time. I'm um, and I think that overall, our director Dean Israelite had a good job of delivering on his promise of making a reboot that's, in his words, mature but playful and run but fun, main sense. I mean, it may not be on the same order of magnitude as other recent superhero blockbusters, but as but it still feel that it's a good update hey, to the series, and as someone who's been a long time fan of it, I mean that. I had a little bit of a backstory, as I might have told you before, but I'm not sure if you remember that it was actually my first major TV for Bit and Fruit of Swords, meaning that even though when I was, I was younger, I was, I was, even though I was allowed to have some of the toys, I mean that I actually wasn't allowed to watch a show when it was at its peak in the 90s, but naturally I did not let that stop me, let me from watching a friend's house, and by the new millennium, um, um, they start people, my family started loosening up a bit, and I was also one of the, I, I managed to watch my favorite, I started watching Hunter actively, and also my, how I discovered the first one I saw, as well as my favorite season, Time Force, to say, and I can, I mean, even though they've had quite a variation quality over the years, especially even within certain, certain seasons and segments, such as New Sabani are now, now, overall, I feel like it's an enjoyable a series, series that which has now lasted well over 800 episodes, notes of adapting the Japanese Super Sentai series. That is, and even even though this new one is much darker, her take on premise, I mean, it still how uh, proves to be a you know, rely on all the usual concepts. Where I mean, so the story. I'm not going to get into too many spoilers. We're curious to see what all happens. By all means, go see the movie. Movie sense, movie that's okay. So in the Sonic era, an, an alien being a Zordon is engaged in battle with Repulsa, and they are played in this version by Brian Cranston as Beth Banks, Banks, and Rita's after an ancient artifact known as Zeo Crystal, a stolen this version, and also so oh oh they are driven to hiding, hating for centuries, and Zordon. Um, Clays the Power Coins, seeking out uh, a group of young teenagers, which will become the Power Rangers, who's the latest and kind of a long line of heroes. Heroes, and in this version, however, they've got a lot more issues. I mean, they're not the perfect friends, hands, and role models they were in the original series. That's one of the things that Jason, Jason is a has had problems with the law, and also he was an athlete before he injured like in a car accident. Accident. Trini is has girlfriend problems in the movie's words. I mean, Zach is an outcast helping helping take care of his terminally ill mother while her now his father is nowhere to be seen. And and Kimberly, who's normally a very cheery, here he, here he is, bully by the social circle, her social circle for appearance, and my favorite one of the original team, Billy, only, only in addition to being an eccentric nerd, is like me on the spectrum. I mean, yeah, something, something that's a bit of a, of a bombshell for you guys, my eyes, that eyes in more than ways than one that. And that's, I mean, as he explained to Jason early on in the movie, hopefully he is, is, it's not a workout program, he's actually been autistic since he was a child, child only when he was diagnosed, and, and his father has been absent in his life, I mean, I have been, and overall, it definitely does borrow a lot of concepts from things like the most Cinematic Universe, and, and the Dark Knight Trilogy, which one of the most superhero movies, but it does it quite well since I mean, since, I mean it, even though some of the not all the drug elements work, I mean like the whole, I don't really get the whole joke where apparently Trina's parents want to test her urine and 
Overall, I think Hank gets stanch to deliver you know, ones that combines more a darker storyline and more complex characters with a lot of colorful action scenes and snazzy special effects. While well, that's I mean the costume designs, I mean, I, I think overall that's really cool. I mean, kind of like reminded me of the Night Dice iPhone where. I mean, they even though the suits look more elaborate than they did in the show, where they oh when they had the they had borrowed them from Zero Ranger, and I mean they kept I think what they had they kept a kaleidoscope of colors I mean, colors I mean that's colors and I imagine some of the drug elements may have come from the infamous fan film, which I wasn't didn't really enjoy by the way, but this one even more telling chick how to fans this given how Banks Vanessa Rita is really nice. I mean given how. Now she makes me a lot of scenery as well as just a barrage bunch of jewelry from a really want to make gold art and even a bit of a sly nod to how silly some of the product placement can be in this day and age. Has a donut crispy cream because apparently as was zero crystals buried in the movie movie and and even though the pacing admittedly is a bit slow and oh what works about the film really works. I mean, especially when they get going, how in sense and Oh, yeah, and he sends Israelite. I, I have never seen Project Almanac. I might look into it sometime, but it's really delivered on what he promised. I just want to game reduction, and, and the Megas to a Battle is easily the highlight of the movie, for my, in my opinion. And since. And this, this bad boy here, here, I mean, I mean I'm still looking into maybe getting the, hey, the figure of this new design. I mean, that's. I mean, but. It definitely has a lot of similarities to both the more over the top nature of the action Transformers films, and I'll get to more of that when we do the trailer time in a moment or two, and the Yeager's Pacific Rim that's somewhere between the real robot style and super robot style. I'll, I all mean that's, I mean sometimes realistic, other times it's more like the, like something something you would see in one of your flights of fancy if you watch a show. Oh, oh, as peak. I mean. And when I was in the theater, it had a good blend of people like me who are familiar with older shows, as well as some of the kids who maybe wanted new ones like Ninja Steel, and it's I, as I expected, it's a lineage that should appeal to many people, and hopefully, since I probably want to make a whole franchise out of these if the film's a hit, and I'm totally okay with that, and since I set it up, and even have cameos, have some older ones like Jason Lever Frank and even Joe Johnson, I mean... He was talking about my shirt. He was our water showing that, I mean that, because, as I mean, I like the idea how even though they open to breach in the future, they're still not forgiving anyone what made the show hope how obsessed in the first place and, nice and, hundred twenty million dollars in production. It will need to make back at least double that in order for them to make more. And, I certainly hope they will. I mean. So it looks like they've been more respectful of her to her, her material as well as as putting more effort in there like this goes to shell thing which I've been trying not to mention which I can. May it'll be another time to be sure but overall I thought it was definitely more phenomenal film every sense of the word. I mean it was was crazy, it was nonsensical and I loved every minute of it. I mean since and I honestly don't care her here, if, if some of the like, character, characters are, I mean, if, I like, like the way they are since, heck, if, what will I just mention, I've been part of David Yost's No Hate movement for a while now, and he has also praised the films, rendition of these characters, as well as, as some of the stuff in New Beauty and the Beast, so I'm still thinking about seeing soon, and I can definitely say I'd recommend this movie, movie. it's definitely pretty fun when I kill a couple hours, hours, and... I give this three stars out of four, and some usually someone else's computer to do this review until anything gets fixed. I mean, I'm going to trade the time now, so I have another cut for it. I mean, that's I'm not going in particular order. I'm just gonna tell you what stood out at me and what did not. I mean, this anime one called Leap that I saw before all the people started I heard. I don't, I don't really care. It doesn't look too memorable. I mean, I barely remember, remember, remember it, which really just gives one impression left on me. Nut job two. Really don't care about that one since I have not seen the original film and I have no plans to. Ergo, probably not going. I mean, second trailer is for me three. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. I mean, I like the first couple ones. I'm gonna pause watching the mini movie on Netflix as well. And even though I didn't really, really enjoy, I didn't really look really interested in seeing. Overall, I got a few good laughs out of trailers, so I'm probably gonna be going when it opens. 
Spider-Man Homecoming. Still look like it's going to be a lot of fun. I should rectify some of the complaints I have with the music of Spider-Man 2. Who, but still keep some of the elements worried about that. Uh, those those films, well as the Raimi duology, the Raimi trilogy, uh, as well as while folding the series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To how much I loved *Hollywood Trail and Civil War*. I mean, *Wonder Woman*. I don't care. I mean, it's not what she's got in her armpits that make me want to see the movie. It's what she's gonna be doing since. I mean, I think it's gonna be really cool. Hold oh, oh, on. Oh, and I definitely can't wait to see her here in the film, and uh, especially given how how she's one of your parts of Dollar Justice, and she's also playing playing people in Justice League as well you know, this year. And that music, I could listen to that music all day and not get tired of it. I mean, it, it's I mean Captain Underpants. That's another one I don't really care about. You know what I mean. I mean, the books maybe maybe will be all right, but if you're gonna be looking at that, making a movie out of that, why now? Uh, I mean, to me, I'm not sure how it's gonna do. And as for this first epic movie, you may not want to count that chicken just yet. I mean, if it's opening against Wonder Woman, which I just mentioned, and I think all the kids are gonna be target audience for Captain Underpants probably gonna be I think going to see Wonder Woman instead. I mean, that's uh, just a thought, you know. Oh. Uh, I just, I don't know, I guess in this day is in, in many ways getting, it has to be a light combination of elements, but I'm just getting, I guess I'm just getting, many ways getting hard to approach superhero films and anime films, I mean, to me, you, if you do something in script or characters, it's, or so production stands out to me, that's usually what gives you my, gives you my money more than anything else. And last but not least, Asylus, Fate of Furious, looks pretty intense, I mean, I had to officially watch Furious 7, I saw the tail end of it, in the middle of the story the other day. Hey, and... Very interesting how they've gone from racing cars to those these vehicular heist films like Bullet. And after all these years, I mean, that's... What a French connection, and... I was still think it was pretty sweet, like, Patriot to Paul Walker at the end, though, but even that accident. And also... Oh, I mean... I mean, if you have Dwayne the Rock Johnson hurling a, I think a missile, missile back at people shot at them, I think I might be interested in it. So, anyway, that's about it for now. I might go back to watching the marathon of the whole show on Twitch on PS4 in a little while. I mean, I mean, if you have seen the movie, tell me what you thought of it. Or if you have going to a movie, tell me what you think of whatever you do. And I will see you all later. May the power live on forever. <laughs>